Percival travelled on conventional heavy rail trains like this. In many cities, including Birmingham, London and Manchester, they have light rail trams. Now get ready for very light rail, and Coventry is at the cutting edge of this new technology. As with most new innovations, it's taken a while to become reality, but now for developer Coventry City Council, there's finally something to see and ride on. It's only a 220 metre test track, but it promises to revolutionise city centre travel, not only in Coventry, but across the globe. We're absolutely delighted. It's been a long time in the making, but to actually have something tangible now that people can come, they can experience it for themselves and give us their feedback, it's a great place to be. Passenger rides on the special test track ran during June and by all accounts, they were well received. They've come along and they've been impressed with what they've seen. They've said that the journey is smooth, that the vehicle is spacious, they like the light and the big windows, it gives them a sense of place. Uh, so, yet yeah, we're really um, pleased with the progress to date. The very light rail vehicle uses battery technology, so there's no need for overhead lines to power the vehicle. It can carry up to 60 people in total. But it's not just the vehicle that's revolutionary here. The track is too. It's buried at a much shallower depth than light rail tracks, which means it doesn't interfere with things like gas or water mains. With conventional light rail, they have to dig down about a metre. Here, they're only digging down around 300 millimetres. And only digging down a third of the depth needed for traditional light rail makes the installation of the tracks much cheaper. A prefabricated slab track designed especially for this scheme will further reduce the cost. It's already undergone extensive testing, even being run over thousands of times by heavy trucks at one of the council's refuse depots. To sign the contract in February, be on site in March and have a tramway in the city by May is a world first. So we've proved that this can be done from the initial 30 centimetre dig because that's all this system requires, we've built um, a tramway. Of course, it's not the first time that we've seen very light rail operating in the UK. This is the Stourbridge Shuttle. It's been running successfully between Stourbridge Junction and the town station for almost 15 years, but it only operates on a conventional branch line. In Coventry, its VLR tram is running successfully along a street through the city centre. It's a relatively quiet road, which means that to install a first of a kind, we can do it without disrupting the rest of the city. So it's, um, it's a quiet road, yet it is a city centre road. We do have businesses here, we have people that live here. So it, it enables us to prove out the track installation in a live environment in a city centre. And the test track used for the passenger trials looks set to be used in the future too. The, the plan is ultimately to build a, a route that joins up Pool Meadow to the rail station. So when we have finalised the design for that and we've got the funding to build it, it will become part of a first route. The next stage for Coventry's VLR is to build a further line which is expected to run between the city's railway station and a nearby university campus. The plan is to have that up and running by 2027.